Another day we went again during the visiting, we went again to feed the hospital. So I was in the hospital visiting the hospital, but the condition of the hospital, it was clean. But, you know, there was no supplies. There's not a lot of stuff. The beds were closed, so there's no protection from one patient to another. Patient um, confidentiality is out. With this big hospital, the hospital is called Connaught Hospital. This big hospital is almost the size of NIH. They only have eight to 10 doctors for the whole hospital. They have two pediatricians, if I can recall, two pediatricians, one surgeon, one OB giant. Everything is like a single doctor. I even mentioned to this doctor, Dr. Kamara, I said, Dr. Kamara, I find out that says, you guys do not want help from another country because people think um, they, they're going to take your job from you. He says, he said, no, that's not true. She suggested, she said, we want all the help we can right here. So I spoke to her and I said, I'm not going to promise you anything, but I'm going to go back to the U.S. and talk to most of the docs that I work with and hopefully I can find Doctors Without Borders to come here and help you and help the, not only you, but help the country. Because I can tell right now, if you guys can see in the, in the, in the, in the, in the world right now, they call it, we call it floor in the U.S. If you can see the world right now, you can see how these people need a lot of help. The kids are just lying out here. They need a lot of help. There's no medical supplies. There's no sheets. There's no, no blankets. There's, there's nothing. They just help they're hoping everything is just they're hoping